Hello friends, today's video I'm going to discuss my best camera settings for macro photography. I'm Sanoj, welcome to my Sanya photography channel. Here I'll explain my list of default settings as baseline by assuming you are shooting handheld or moving subject. I have divided main topic into following subtopics. It's number 1. Basic camera settings. Number 2. Other camera settings with Sony A9 Mark II camera body. Number 3. Working distance and magnification. Number 4. Light and depth of field. Number 5. Focusing techniques. Number 6. Flash setup and diffusers. Under basic camera settings. You need to select focus system for macro photography. If you use autofocus system, switch lens focus mode to AF. If lens doesn't have AF mode, set your camera focus system to autofocus continuous mode. For manual focus, switch lens focus mode to MF. If lens doesn't have MF mode, set your camera focus system to manual mode. So anyway, for macro photography, I recommend manual focus mode. Then we will move to camera exposure setup for macro photography. Assume you are using flashlight all the time. Camera mode set to manual. Aperture start with f8 to f11. If you want, you can go up to f22 but you will face some issues with narrow apertures. We will talk this subject later in the video. Shutter speed, start with 100 of a second and go up to 250th of a second. ISO, start with 100 to 200. If needed, go up to 400. Let's move to other camera settings which related to macro photography. I shoot RAW file format instead of JPEG. So easily you can post process your image with RAW format. For macro photography, I use single shot or mode L which means 10 frames per second as shutter release mode. White balance, most of the times I set up to cloudy mode and some occasions I used Kelvin 5500. You will be easily adjust your white balance later on post processing. Let's move to metering mode. Usually I set it to multimetering mode. Set peaking setting on, peaking level high and focus frame color to red. It will alert you to the area that is sharply in focus.
set zebra setting on zebra stripes are helping me to identify highlights that way by adjusting your exposure you will be able to avoid specular highlights in macro photography Set histogram on and try to get an idea about your exposure curve. Set focus magnification on and assign it into one of the control wheel button. It allows me to tap in and get very precise focus peaking in macro photography. Then we will move to working distance and magnification. Working distance is distance between your camera sensor and the subject. It depends on your focal length of your lens and the length of your lens. I would recommend macro lens with 100 mm or higher focal lens. Magnification. Size of your subject which is reflect your camera sensor versus a real world size. One to one or one next macro lenses, the most common or popular magnification. 2 to 1 or no 2x macro lenses, some brands available in the market. 5 to 1 or no 5x macro lenses, uh, not much popular. Let's move to depth of field and lighting in macro photography. Higher magnifications decrease your depth of field. At 1 to 1 magnification, Small part of your subject get sharp and the rest of the area get blur. If you need sharp images, need to use narrow apertures like f16 to f22. It will solve depth of field issue but it creates more lighting issues. At narrow apertures, cut down large amount of light to sensor. As you are very close to the subject, it blocks natural light sources as well. In order to avoid camera shake, usually use faster shutter speeds and as a result you are end up with the darker images. So how to fix this issue? Use wide apertures. Use focus stack with wide apertures. This is only practical with tripod. Or use flashlight with diffuser. Then we will move to focusing techniques in macro photography. Recommended to focus manually to your required magnification. It depends on your lens magnification. Look through the camera viewfinder and compose your frame. Then breathe out, hold camera tight and slowly move forward and backward until you get a sharper image and click. Windy weather cause focusing issues and try to avoid windy days if possible. Usually wind coming as waves. Try to focus and take your shot in between wind waves. Some cases if possible keep your camera fixed and move your subject. Example tree branch or the flower in order to get a sharper shot. So moving subject, take a handheld shot due to practical issues. Non-moving subject, recommended to use tripod. Let's move to flashlight setup and diffusers. In macro photography, you can use natural light and artificial light. Natural light, limited due to the camera settings and too close to the subject. So artificial light, use regular flash, either branded or third party.
set your flash to manual mode. Flash strength set to 1 16th and take a test shot. Adjust these settings as required. Diffuser, use foldable diffuser or softbox diffuser to spread out light. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.